Welcome to part two of our lecture series on gluconeogenesis. This tutorial will cover the functions of the malate aspartate shuttle in the transport of oxaloacetate from the matrix of the mitochondria to the cytosol. In the last section, we discussed the pyruvate carboxylase enzyme reaction mechanism in the formation of oxaloacetate from pyruvate. This intermediate is required to generate phosphoenolpyruvate in a cytosolic reaction mediated by the phosphoenolpyruvate carboxykinase enzyme. Phosphoenolpyruvate carboxykinase, PEPCK, will mediate the removal of the carbon dioxide from oxaloacetate, followed by the phosphorylation of the intermediate to yield phosphoenolpyruvate. However, the transport of oxaloacetate from the matrix to the cytosol, where it can be used as a substrate for this reaction, is a problem. Oxaloacetate cannot cross the inner membrane of the mitochondria. To leave the mitochondrial matrix, oxaloacetate has to first be converted to aspartate by the aspartate aminotransferase enzyme, AAT. It can then be transported to the intermembrane space of the mitochondria through an antiporter that transports one molecule of aspartate out of the matrix and one molecule of glutamate into the matrix. Once in the intermembrane space, the aspartate can pass freely through a pore in the outer mitochondrial membrane. Once in the cytoplasm, aspartate is reconverted back to oxaloacetate using the cytoplasmic aspartate aminotransferase enzyme. Oxaloacetate can then be used as a substrate by the phosphoenopyruvate carboxykinase enzyme, PEPCK. The glutamate aspartate transporter has some additional complexities associated with it. It cannot function on its own. It requires the coordinate functioning of the malate alpha ketoglutarate antiporter. Together, these antiporters are known as the malate aspartate shuttle system. We will focus on the details of this system in the next few slides. The malate aspartate shuttle system is dependent on the functioning of two enzymatic processes. The first is the aspartate aminotransferase that was indicated more simplistically on the previous two slides. The aspartate aminotransferase enzyme can utilize glutamate as an amine donor to generate aspartate from oxaloacetate. Alpha-ketoglutarate is also formed in this process. Depending on substrate concentrations and other regulatory mechanisms, this enzyme can also work in the reverse direction to produce glutamate and oxaloacetate. In a different reaction, using malate dehydrogenase, oxaloacetate can be reduced to form malate using a molecule of NADH as the electron donor. The malate dehydrogenase enzyme is expressed to high levels in the cytoplasm of liver cells, as well as the matrix of the mitochondria. This enzyme is a component of the Krebs cycle, where it mediates the formation of oxaloacetate in the last step of the cycle. Within the cytoplasm, it predominantly converts oxaloacetate into malate. The malate can then be shuttled into the matrix of the mitochondria through the malate alpha ketoglutarate antiporter. In this antiporter, malate moves into the mitochondrial matrix, while alpha ketoglutarate moves into the inner membrane space and subsequently into the cytosol of the cell. Together with the aspartate, it can be utilized by cytoplasmic aspartate aminotransferase to produce glutamate and oxaloacetate. This is the oxaloacetate pool that is then utilized in the gluconeogenic pathway when PEPCK is active. The glutamate generated in this reaction is transported back into the matrix of the mitochondria through the aspartate glutamate antiporter. The pool of aspartate in the matrix of the mitochondria is supplied by the reaction of the aspartate aminotransferase enzyme, which completes the reverse reaction from the one seen in the cytoplasm. 
In the matrix, aspartate aminotransferase uses glutamate and oxaloacetate as substrates to generate aspartate and alpha-ketoglutarate. This enables the transport of aspartate and glutamate through their specific antiporter. Within the gluconeogenic pathway, heightened levels of oxaloacetate are produced in the matrix of the mitochondria. Oxaloacetate is then converted to aspartate and transported across the inner membrane, where it can subsequently be converted back to oxaloacetate and used for the production of glucose.